Hi there folks, welcome back to Rich Reviews. I want to thank everyone who's been commenting, liking, and subscribing this channel. I want to thank everyone who's been watching all these videos. So, so the TV show that I want to review here for you folks is the first season of Longmire. And the Longmire I think is currently being renewed for a final six season. The first three seasons were on A&E and &E, the final subsequent three seasons are on Netflix. So, so Longmire is based on a series of Craig Johnson mystery novels. And it's about a Wyoming sheriff named Walt Longmire. Played this series played by Robert Taylor. And so the series is set in Wyoming, but it's shot and filmed, I think, in New Mexico. I guess you can't really tell the difference between Wyoming and New Mexico, although I've been to Laramie. I guess I've been to Yellowstone. I guess is about a year after his wife's death and how basically, you know, he's a man really out of step with the rest of the world. He doesn't really buy a cell phone. He goes four hours out of his way to inform a wife that her husband has died. He keeps his wife's ashes in a tea can, which his daughter thinks is odd. You know, she was dying of cancer. And again, his daughter is a lawyer who, I guess, moved back home to be closer to him, I guess. He's sort of a mess, I guess. He, he's not really all that forthcoming. He's basically, he keeps it close, close to the vest. He's sort of like every other character you see on these TV these days. And, you know, again, he's a, he's a sheriff in this small town, I guess, or I guess par, par, part of a larger county, I guess. And this must be, again, for a small town, it feels f fairly large. He has a deputy here named Branch, played by Bailey Chase, who concedes that, yeah, you haven't done anything in a while. Branch then decides, I'm going to run against Walt here. Hopefully I can use some of my dad's money, possibly, to defeat Walt. Walt. And, you know, Walt clearly is not happy with this, but then he doesn't really let his emotions show. Of course, in one episode, they do eventually come to blows, if you find that interesting. also has another deputy named Vic, played by Katie Sackhoff, and this is a series that, after... Balasar Galactica, Katie Sackhoff did this series, who is a big city transplant. She comes from Philadelphia. She's not accustomed to what small town Wyoming life is basically here. And I guess her husband's business requires her to live in Wyoming. Although in one episode she says that her husband is thinking about getting a job in Australia. <laughs> and she says, why would I want to be a cop in Australia? I like to be a cop in the United States here. It constantly has to get in between Branch and Walt because sometimes they can get at each other's throat on occasion. These ten episodes, obviously, Walt has various crimes to solve here. A lot of these cases, are they interesting? I guess so. Personally, a lot of the times it comes down to the law of economy of characters. Of course, there's one bizarre death on which a, a person is mauled to death by a bear, obviously, and the and the guy was obviously sedated, covered with bacon or meat or whatever, and the bear obviously was attracted to that, so he mauled him. How the guy, how it will gets the guy to confess, <laughs> is interesting in and of itself. One of the probably most fa probably the most fascinating material here is is considering that he lives right next to a reservation and best friend who runs a bar. His name is Henry Standing Bear. Yes, that's his actual name. He's played by Lou Diamond Phillips. He's sort of the intermediary here for Walt because Walt doesn't exactly have a great relationship with the Cheyenne. The rest of the, the, rest of the previous police chief of the tribal police, you know, the, the Cheyenne here are somewhat at mercy of the system because some of them live in dire poverty and they're exploited. In one apparent episode, they hire a mer a Cheyenne mercenary who's relatively big because their children are being taken away, and yes, that's fascinating in and of itself for a person who's the head of this tribal interim tribal council member after the previous member gets killed. Basically, says so we're the only Americans that actually have to have our blood tested to prove that we're actually who we say we are because this tribal member wants within the ranks of the herd, and therefore. You know, more money can be made from the casinos and there would be more profit for them because probably the one thing I can you know, most unanimously praise here is the scenery. The final episode, Charles S. then shows up to want to question him about what happened a year ago that involved his wife. It's something that relates to her death and we also sometimes get a little bit of flashbacks to a year ago when Walt was 
somewhat severely injured, I guess. And you clearly see some of the scars on his back. I'll check out the subsequent seasons if anyone here actually wants me to do that. Um, so folks, did you like Longmire Season 1? Have you been watching this series at all? Please put that in the comment section, folks, below. Always, folks, like, comment, and subscribe. Enrich yourself with knowledge. If you want to see this handsome face again, press the subscribe button. Yeah, press the bell for getting actual updates for this channel. Um, I'll see you next time, folks. Yeah.